Alrighty, so I got a package from Planet Beer Wagon. Travis, I'm gonna open this bad boy up and we will take a look inside. There we go. Oh man. Player Beer Wagon uh, does some uh, custom drawings and gave me one. There's uh, Slimer, Mario, Skeletor. Uh, what do you call the moth guy from the tick? Harvey the Wonder Hamster from the Weird Al variety show that was on Saturday mornings. There's Weird Al. There's Tick, Keen. There's a shark. Where I'm not sure where the shark's from. But it's nice. I like it. It's real nice. Oh, some random crap in here. I'd love me some uh, random crap. <laughs> it's a shark. Man, it's weird, gooey feeling. It has like, almost like BBs or something in it. It's something lighter. Oh, okay. I thought it sport squirted water or something, but then. Dun, 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 <laughs> Toothbrush. Tooth tunes. Plays music. Oh my goodness, he got me a lot of games in here. Oh, this is why he was going to get me the main thing. Uh, was Hard Candy. Starring uh, Ellen Page here. Where she gets, uh, she gets revenge on a child molester or a pedophile and uh, I always thought that's, that's an interesting concept uh, the tables being turned and it's funny I was mentioning to him I don't have it on this table I chose not to put it on there but she's a totally opposite character from uh, smart people where she's trying to seduce a man who's older than her so there you go opposite roles I know uh, I think it's Signal Never Fades Alex said he didn't like this movie but I don't know it sounds like it's right up my alley it sounds interesting I think his problem with it was it's too wordy. But yeah, definitely dark, but I don't know. I like some of the stuff like that that's darker, but has more of a message and stuff. Interesting message. Let's see. Oh, man, he's got some crap here. That, that's, I think that's a bad guy from The Tick. That's pretty awesome. His torso. How did I do that? How did I make him come out? His head? His arm? Okay, he just... His arm... He grows. I thought that was freaking awesome. I love how wide his stance is. He'll never fall over. Never. He's got some games here. Oh, Tasmania. You know, my cousins have this. And it's like one of the hilarious, most hilariously awful games ever. Because you're like Tasmania and you're on this like dirt road. And you're just running down killing these birds. That's all you do. You just you have to time it just right to kill these birds. But that's nice. I'll have, to get, I'll have to give it some play footage of that. Maybe I'll review it sometime too. There's Clay Fighters. That's actually a really good game that I never had. I always thought the graphics were awesome. Man, that's awesome. I can't believe you get me Clay Fighter. Oh, gosh. Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures. Man, that's nice. Luca. LukeyGames.com. What do you get him from? Lukey Wookie? Uh... Their game, pinball. Ah, it looks like you got three boards there. Interesting. Oh, here's another. I guess this is the ongoing theme with him. Here's another Slimer. He sent me one Slimer. One of the best things ever when I was a kid was uh, those Slimer Echo Coolers, the High C. They were delicious. Slimer's awesome. You really can't go wrong with Slimer. Oh, uh, Opez. Yeah, I know a lot of people collect Pez and stuff. I never really collected it, but for Tigger, I'll do it. Tigger's awesome. Uh, I'm kind of banned. Uh, let's see if I can read it. I'm with... Oh, I'm with Coco. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. And this is a, I'm going to end up admitting some stuff. That I probably shouldn't, but uh, when I was a child, I was actually called Coco from my uh, one of my female cousins. 
Uh, she was trying to get me upset before they left after spending the most of the day playing around. And then she just started calling me Coco. And I just started getting really angry because I don't like being called Coco. And if anyone calls me Coco in the comments, I'll, I'll ban you. That'll happen. But yeah, so I could be, I could claim to have some kind of connection to freaking Conan O'Brien. Some letters. He's such a weird dude. Maybe he wants to help me learn my ABCs. Ugh. Oh, gummy Super Mario candies. Whew, that looks good. I got two packs. He's too nice. Now here's something he ripped. That's awesome. Star Wars Holiday. What does that say? Sarcon? Deluxe DVD. Avenger edition with DVD ROM goodness. I guess I know the Star Wars holiday thing is with all the the Wookies and stuff, and it's really painfully awful. So I, I guess maybe it's that. <laughs> He's a good dude. Uh, a duck. Sick twisted freak. Uh, bouncy balls. Ooh, there was one. I actually collect bouncy balls, so that's kind of neat. You didn't even know that. Just random crap about me. Ugh. One dropped. I got it. Uh, let's see. Knox in the box. Alright. This looks like some kind of claymation cartoon. Alright. Or, well, just claymation. That'd be a cartoon. Man, this package. Holy crap. That's how he's fucking supposed to look. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Man, he hasn't been like this since, I don't know, 1993. Uh, I gotta find mine for a comparison sometime. I don't know where he is at the moment, but I chewed his foot. I have this uh, this video up called, Can Anyone Help Me uh, Identify What Toy Line or What Cartoon This Is Toys From? And it was this guy. And uh, my version, I had spray-painted gold at one point when I was a kid. That is nice. Uh, it's some weird name. It's like Power Fighters or something. I have to look it up again <laughs> to realize what it is. But that's awesome because I haven't seen him in that good of a condition. And his hinges don't just... Man, his hinges aren't worn down. That's awesome. That's nice. That's really sweet. Oh, there's another bouncy ball. Man, he sent me a bunch of comics. They're like... They're like sexy comics. Let's see. Desert Times. There's your thumbnail. Mm, just hold it for a second. Desperate Times. Now bigger and better. By Christopher Elinopoulos. Alright. Nice. I'll be sure to check that out. Jay and Silent Bob. I've never seen that movie or the sequel. <laughs> Quantum Quartet. <laughs> oh, Married with Children. Quantum Quartet. It's a TV show. Ralph Snart Adventures. I've never heard of that. Oh, this may be that one he was talking about that was kind of out there. Yeah, I think it is. He was doing this one video about just. This one uh, comic that's just crazy, dark, brutal, everything. That's awesome. And then there's a shirt. <laughs> Bacon is a vegetable. <laughs> more, even more stuff. Jeez whiz. Planet Beer Wagon. 3X. Outfit. Bacon is a vegetable. I'm going to wear that to work. I'll so wear that to work. Upset my mom too. Because she's a vegetarian. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, the wings. I think that's going this guy. Man, I can't believe he got it this close to complete. Yeah, it's like Power Silverhawks. <laughs> he looks so stupid. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Let's see. Joker card. Evidence. Gotham. Oh, that's awesome. It's the, the Joker's calling card. He would always leave that. 
they would find it and they had to piece together who did it. Or they had an idea because it was always the Joker. He left the Joker card. And this button. And we got Mad Mag. Oh no, not Mad. I'm sorry. This is neat. This is a rare treat. He put Cracked in here. Uh, we all now know Cracked is a very popular website where they do lists, you know, where they have, like, after the jump, the, you know, three, two, one. It's like they, or they do, like, uh, you know, five and four, then after the, you click the next, and you get to three, uh, two, one, and it's filled with ads and stuff. But before that, it was actually, it was actually a magazine that competed with Mad Magazine. With the parodies and whatnot. G.I. Joke. Cosby. I like how they don't change anything about Cosby. Cosby's funny enough on his own. Will of Fortune. Ugly Family. Rocky Ivy. Cab garbage Cards. Miami Vice. Ron Rover. That's awesome. He really knows me well. Uh, definitely look below and uh, check out Planet Beer Wagon. I want to... If you like nostalgia, you like Planet Beer Wagon. He's just pure nostalgia. Everything that's right about the 80s and 90s is just rolled up into him. And uh, I can't get enough. And he has some actually really cool videos. I wish he really... I mean, I started doing like thrift store... I showed like thrift store videos. But I'm more about like the haul or what I got there. He goes in there and just has fun with his friends. And it's really entertaining stuff. Gosh. Crack. That's another thing from the 80s. I remember giving gummies, like free packets and cereal boxes as a promo. It's like, hey, these are called Gusher. You want to try these? Oh, they're individually wrapped. Oh, sweet gummy goodness. Nothing like some uh, orange juice to wash that bad boy down. Mm. It's really, you know how perfume or potpourri smells? That's how it tastes. And that's kind of addictive. That's delicious. Ah. The best last droplets come from the mustache hairs. Like a fine wine. All right, so as we all know, Planet Beer Wagon rules has actually tapped into some kind of deep-rooted thoughts in my subconscious because he's getting this stuff that's like, oh wow, had that once again, Team Coco, and uh, just it's amazing. He's a real nice guy, and we met through the Vlog Brothers of all people, and I hope we have a friendship that endures all. The last forever. And I gotta think of something to give him that beats this. Because like he was like he's like, Hey dude, I'm gonna send you a hard candy because I heard you said you wanted to see it. I found it. And I was like, Oh cool man. Yeah, I was gonna wait for it to get into the bins. But I don't even know where there's hard candy. Right? So he got me hard candy. But like he didn't mention any of this other stuff. You know, four super NES games, a shirt, candy, DVDs. The drawing, Pez, the rare toy from my childhood. That's cool. Um, the shark, the tick, the cracked, the comic books. It's just amazing. It's real nice. The Joker card. That is cool. That is so cool. So, yeah. Definitely check out Planet Beer Wagon. And I hope to get him something that rivals this. Until next time, Noji Ted out.